War Crimes Trials After World War II Title, War Crimes Trials After World War II, Seeking Justice and Accountability Introduction, 100 Words The conclusion of World War II left the world grappling with the horrors of unprecedented atrocities committed during the conflict. In an effort to ensure justice and hold those responsible account of e. A series of international war crimes trials were conducted. These trials played a crucial role in establishing a new framework for international law and setting precedents for future generations. e. A series of international war crimes trials were conducted. These trials played a crucial role in establishing a new framework for international law and setting precedents for future generations. His article aims to delve into the history, significance, and legacy of the war crimes trials that followed World War II. 1. The Nuremberg Trials, 400 Words The Nuremberg Trials, held in the German city of Nuremberg between 1945 and 1946, were the first major international war crimes trials. The Allied powers prosecuted prominent leaders of Nazi Germany. Or Crimes Against Humanity, War Crimes, and Crimes Against Peace. 24 defendants, including top-ranking officials such as Hermann Göring, were tried and held accountable for their actions. Th. Or Crimes Against Humanity, War Crimes, and Crimes Against Peace. 24 defendants, including top-ranking officials such as Hermann Göring, were tried and held accountable for their actions. Th. Trials set the stage for subsequent war crimes trials and helped establish key legal principles, such as the idea that individuals, not just states, could be held responsible for war crimes. 2. The Tokyo Trials, 300 Words Simultaneously, the International Military Tribunal for the Far East, also known as the Tokyo Trials, was held in Tokyo from 1946 to 1948. It aimed to prosecute Japanese leaders for their role in the aggression and atrocities committed before and during World War II. The trial saw 28 individuals facing charges, including militarists, politicians, and commanders. Aggression and atrocities committed before and during World War II. The trial saw 28 individuals facing charges, including militarists, politicians, and commanders. 3. Other Post-World War II Trials, 300 Words Beyond the Nuremberg and Tokyo Trials, numerous other war crimes trials were held in the aftermath of World War II. National trials in countries like France, the Netherlands, and the Soviet Union saw the prosecution of war criminals responsible for crimes against humanity. Additionally, some of the concentration camp administrators and guards faced legal consequences in individual cases. These tr. The prosecution of war criminals responsible for crimes against humanity. Additionally, some of the concentration camp administrators and guards faced legal consequences in individual cases. These tr. ALS, alongside the international tribunals, were part of a broader effort to address the widespread atrocities committed during the war and ensure justice was served. 4. Legacy and Impact, 400 Words The war crimes trials that transpired after World War II had a lasting impact on the development of international law and the pursuit of justice for war crimes. The trials also played a vital role in bringing closure to the survivors and victims of the atrocities committed during World War II. Furthermore, the trial served as a historical record, documenting the atrocities committed and ensuring that future generations would not forget the magnitude of the crimes against humanity. The Tess Amonis, evidence, and rulings of these trials continue to serve as a reminder of the moral and legal responsibilities of nations and individuals during times of conflict. Amonis, evidence, and rulings of these trials continue to serve as a reminder of the moral and legal responsibilities of nations and individuals during times of conflict. 5. The Impact on International Humanitarian Law, 
400 words. One of the significant legacies of the war crimes trials after World War II is the impact they had on the development and evolution of international humanitarian law. These trials brought attention to the urgent need for a comprehensive legal framework that could address and prevent atrocities committed during armed conflicts. The urgent need for a comprehensive legal framework that could address and prevent atrocities committed during armed conflicts. The Nuremberg trials, in particular, helped establish fundamental legal principles that have since become the foundation of international humanitarian law. Moreover, the trials highlighted the need to hold individuals accountable for their actions, regardless of their official position or government authority. This shift contributed to the development of a system that held individuals accountable for their actions, even when acting under the authority of a state or organization. A system that held individuals accountable for their actions, even when acting under the authority of a state or organization. This principle served as a deterrent for future leaders, who were made aware of the potential legal consequences of condoning or participating in war crimes. 6. Challenges and Criticisms, 300 Words While the war crimes trials after World War II were groundbreaking, they were not without their challenges and criticisms. One of the primary criticisms was the selective nature of the trials, as the focused mainly on the Axis powers responsible for the most significant atrocities. Some argued that this approach perpetuated a narrative of victor's justice, as war crimes committed by the Allied P. Focused mainly on the Axis powers responsible for the most significant atrocities. Some argued that this approach perpetuated a narrative of victor's justice, as war crimes committed by the Allied P. Wars were not addressed in the same manner. Additionally, the trials faced logistical challenges, including gathering evidence, ensuring fair proceedings, and organizing a comprehensive legal framework. The sheer magnitude of the crimes commit Ed during World War II posed significant challenges for the prosecutors, judges, and defense lawyers involved. Ed during World War II posed significant challenges for the prosecutors, judges, and defense lawyers involved. Another criticism was the limited scope of the trials, which primarily focused on individual criminal responsibility. Some argued that systemic issues, such as the underlying political, social, and e. anomic conditions that contributed to the commission of war crimes, were not adequately addressed. The trials were seen by some as failing to address the root causes of such atrocities and solely folk. Anomic conditions that contributed to the commission of war crimes were not adequately addressed. The trials were seen by some as failing to address the root causes of such atrocities and solely folk. Sing on punishing the individuals responsible. 7. The Lasting Significance, 289 Words Despite the challenges and criticisms, the war crimes trials after World War II hold lasting significance. They set a crucial precedent and solidified the principle that individuals who commit war cr. mess, regardless of their position or nationality, should be held accountable. mess, regardless of their position or nationality, should be held accountable. Furthermore, these trials established an enduring legacy by contributing to the development of international criminal law. These institutions continue to hold individuals accountable for war crimes. Rhymes against humanity and genocide, thus upholding the principles laid down during the initial trials. Rhymes against humanity and genocide, thus upholding the principles laid down during the initial trials. The trials also had a profound effect on public opinion and consciousness. By bringing to light the unimaginable horrors committed during World War II, they served as a powerful reminder of the impor. Ants of Justice, Human Rights, and the Rule of Law The trials helped shape the collective memory of the international community and, to some extent, contributed to the commitment to prevent similar 
ants of justice, human rights, and the rule of law. The trials helped shape the collective memory of the international community and, to some extent, contributed to the commitment to prevent similar atrocities in the future. 8. The Influence on Transitional Justice and Reconciliation, 400 Words